here with Alan Silver talking about parachutes. Alan, why are the parachutes pilots wear round and the parachutes that skydivers you use rectangular? That's a real good question. Uh, considering that all the skydiving places pretty much that you have to jump the ram air parachutes. Keep in mind those people are jumping out of airplanes intentionally and a lot of times they're in high winds. They're experienced. These parachutes, uh, the rectangular parachutes, we call them ram airs. We actually we call them squares, but they're not. They used to be. They're very fast forward speeds. Uh, it's like you're flying a Cessna 150. I'm a pilot. Why can't I fly a jet? That's a really good analogy because the one's a lot faster and it, it, it the thinking process gets way ahead of, but way behind the parachute. Uh, in an emergency, a pilot wears one parachute. They have no intentions of bailing out of the aircraft. For, for most people, the simplicity of having a parachute with a minimal amount of forward speed in case they're injured just hanging there, as opposed to a parachute that could be scooting across the ground at 30 miles an hour or faster and slam into something at 30 or 40 miles an hour as opposed to 5 or 10 miles an hour, there's a significant difference. And the ram air parachutes, you just can't loan them to anybody. You have to get special training to use them because we feel from a safety point, here you bail out and you don't know how to steer this fancy modern parachute can create more problems for you. So it's already a stressful situation. It's a bad day to begin with. And without having a proper training on the ram air parachutes, it can be a problem. Now, who uses them? Uh, typically a ram air parachute pilot is somebody that weighs 230, 240. They're, they're flying at high elevations like in Denver and they don't want to end up five foot five like myself, you know, when they started out at six foot tall. Who else uses them? Uh, and I require them to go through a class. Now, they don't necessarily have to make a jump, but they've got to give me a certificate that they've been through training. Who else has used one? Uh, probably some people know of Sean Tucker and his last bailout. Uh, uh, he's now kind of our poster child holding his blue parachute in front of his crumpled up airplane. But Sean actually had quite a few jumps. And so he uses a Ram Air parachute because he knows how to fly one. Otherwise, for the most time, most part, no, it's not necessary. Of course, there's a lot more money, too. You're going to add at least five, six, seven hundred dollars to the price of any parachute. And not every company can put those ram airs in their containers. They're not designed for it. The maker of paraphernalia is softy. We have a special bag we can put in there, and it fits in there and stuff. But otherwise, you need to have training. Aero TV is brought to you by. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com.